Hi, I'm Perry from Unga Guitars and the Unga School of Guitar Making. <laughs> I have my bang build, my body and neck guitar build here. I got my body all contoured. I've got my neck in place. And what I've done here is I've laid out some contour cards, both on the back and the front. And what I want to go over is both how I lay these out and how I carve them. Very simple. So I'm going to pop, pop this neck out here. It's in pretty tight. I like my necks to fit nice and tight. All right, so what I do here is I go ahead and I take my pencil and I'll make a nice continuing arch just because that's my style. And while I have the neck in place, I'll go ahead and see how the body sits against my body. And I'll go ahead and lay it out to, to carve to my body's likings. And I like a really deep carve. So what I've seen lately in a lot of the groups and the forums is how do I create these carves? Uh, so the way that I do it is fairly simple. All you need is a good working surface or a workbench. Um, and what I'll do, we'll do this side, is I'll take a clamp and I'll go ahead and clamp my body down. And what I, what I like to use is a files and a rasp. So what I have here is a rusty old rasp and the one thing when you're working with these sort of hand tools, files, rasps, saws, any sort of hand tools is you really want to let the tool do the work. And I've said this before, and it's one thing that I can't stop repeating. Let the tool do the work. There's no need to have it have a desk grip on the handle. It's not going to help the tool work any better. Really, all you need is a nice light grip where you can pull the tool right out. And you really want to let the tool work. All you need is hand weight on whatever you're working on. And to show you how that works, let me get a better, better clamping position. All you need is hand weight and a nice sawing motion. Meaning, not this back and forth and definitely not this way. You want to utilize all these teeth. So this is a half round rasp. And I really like the round side. I use the flat side when I'm carving necks to have that surface area. You want a sawing motion. So a diagonal motion. When you're doing this, I have hardly any grip on the handle. My uh, The meat of my palm right under my thumb is what's holding the the end of the rasp so no need for a handle just really light no muscle all it is is gravity and this sawing motion sawing motion over, so if i was to show you this over the edge of this bench here i'm not doing this i'm not doing this i have it at a diagonal 45 is what it looks like to me and I'm both moving it forwards and sideways. So a nice sawing motion. And then I'll take my, when I have, when I'm down to the thickness line that I have, or the depth line, right here. And I meet this line. When I make these lines connect, then I go ahead and I take my first cut file. Another half round. I'm a big fan of half rounds. And I'll take this in the same motion, that same sawing motion with the light grip and gravity. I will e erase all of those rasp marks. And if you look closely, you can see how fast that smooths out. Just that little bit. That smoothed that out. And then I'll go ahead and take a second cut, half round smoothing file. And that same sawing motion. If you go through all these steps, you'll have about a, the equivalent of a finished sand to about 180, which means that you'll be entering this area 
at 220, which will save you tremendous time when it comes to sanding. The other trick that I have is if you want to have a nice straight um, surface here in the material that you removed, a great way to do that is with the scraper. So you can not only check how flat you are, but you can also take out machine marks with this scraper. Scrapers are a great tool for removing material and creating a, a, a surface that's ready to finish. Um, so this is my approach to creating body carves and contours. Um, when it comes to contours, there are no rules. There are what we know from all the brands that we've been exposed to and what we're willing to try. So whether you want to create a nice straight surface or if you want a relieved surface, it's all up to you and your uh, creativity. So once again, I'm Perry from Unga Guitars and the Unga School of Guitar Making. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.